Sunday, January 19, 11, 29 a.m. at the Walmart in Hamilton, New Jersey. Look at the line. It extends all the way to the middle of the store. I just could not believe it. You see? Oh, this is the line for a South Cashier now. For South Cashier. They still have those two self cashing machines that don't work. It's been like six months or more. If the South Cashier is like this, it's supposed to be the fastest. Let's go and see what it's on, what it's like on the other ones. I will come back to this expired food they sell all the time. Look at this. Then you have one, two, three, four that are closed. All right, one, two, three, four that are closed. Like you don't need to be open. And look at the number five lines. Come all the way to number three and turn the corner. Blocking the alleys, blocking the stores. And you can tell people, it's a Sunday now. People come here and load up their carts. So every customer is going to take longer. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's always like that. Traffic jam everywhere, every time. Oh, oh my God. I'm about to go there right now. Hi, how are you? Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, this is the auto self cashier. Uh, self cashing section all closed. One, two, three, four. So four closed. Plus number 15 is closed. Plus number one, two, three, four is closed. So four and 15 is five total. Plus four is nine. Plus the two that are not working on the other side, 10, 11. So 11 cashiers that are closed here at Walmart. Hamilton, New Jersey. It's, uh, it's like this everywhere. Every Walmart you go pretty much. Yep, that's how they treat customers. Customers made you the biggest retailer in the world, the richest company ever, and you, in return, shit on them, abuse them, abuse their time, disrespect them every day, and, you know, taking them for granted, and amazing. You see, you have elderly, you have people trying everywhere, people with their babies, and, and this is not even half of the people in the store right now. And it's Sunday, and it's only 11.30 in the morning. Okay, people just waking up now, getting to the stores. You know, later on it's gonna get busier and much worse. I mean, I've literally caught managers here in this location, not even that long ago, last week, uh, laughing between each other, saying the lines are crazy again, saying it on the radios, you know, they're walkie-talkers. And I was right there in the electronics, for like 30 minutes waiting for help. Because it's one person in electronics helping I don't care if it's 20 people in electronics waiting, it's just one person there. Yeah, this location in Hamilton, New Jersey is like that. But it's the same, because how you know it's the same? Everywhere you go, you get the same service, and when you ask the manager, they give you the same exact answers. You know, all that's all they give us what to work with. They don't give us enough people to put on the clock. Let's cooperate. And then, uh, oh, we're on the shift change, that's why it's not enough people. Uh, or um, a lot of people didn't show up today, they called out. It's always a reason. You know what I mean? They can hire anybody they want. They can hire the president if they want. But they just don't want to because they want to abuse customers' time. Like pile customers up like, like, I don't know, how you call it? You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you can't respect your customers, you just don't deserve the business. And um, it's going to start showing soon, especially with what we're doing here.